everyone, this is Irfan Zardat Khan from Javelin Technologies bringing you SolidWorks Composer Tips. So in this video I will show you how to animate a board uh, which turns as it is unfastened. So let us look at the assembly. I just have a block with a board in it right now. So if I were to trying to take this board, so I have my time marker is currently at five seconds and I did a transform and I translated it I will get the moving motion so let's do that and let's try to animate that so it moves out but it's not turning at, at this moment now if, would, if I would like to rotate at the same time as it translates I can click on that and maybe I can choose the rotate option so rather than selecting uh, a rotation distance I will just type here let's say 720 indicating two turns let's try to animate that again and you see it does not turn the reason is what happens is it tries to find the shortest distance between the starting point and the ending point and basically the number of turns do not represent any number of rotations so to bypass this issue what I will do is I will impose the, the translation motion on the board but the rotation motion I have to impose on another entity so what I will do is within my assembly tree I will create an assembly group okay I have an, a blank assembly group I will drag the board and drop it inside that assembly group the board still has that translatory motion. What I will do is I will change my selection mode to assembly selection mode and I will select that newly created assembly group and what I will do is I will rotate the assembly. So I will rotate it by in this case let's say I will rotate it by 3600 degrees which are a number of rotations and what you will notice is all those intermediate keyframes are created to impose the rotation motion on the assembly whereas we have the translatory motion on the board so let us animate it now and what you will notice is this board is turning as it is translating hope you will have fun unfastening your bolts in your animations using this simple technique